Gav, not just the result, the manner of the victory, you must be so pleased. Yeah, first and foremost, the result's most important, um, especially at this stage of the season. It doesn't really matter performance, it is results, but I thought the performance was, was really pleasing. We were, even first half, we, we were OK and we thought more was to come and I think we, we showed that in the, in the second half um, and a bit of quality, two bits of quality um, in the game two real bits of quality in the game, score the goals, you know, I think. Great finish from Jordan, but it's a great pass from Jack where he's picked him out, he hasn't just put it in the box, he's picked out a, a great pass and, and Jordan, you know, from where we are, it looked great all the way and he was, ne he was never not going to go in the net and then second half, great ball down um, down the line, stretched their defence and Amari showed his pace and, and his quality when he got that chance, you know, he, he never looked in doubt that he was going to score. You and the gaffer asked the boys to dominate possession in games and today we've seen an example of, of a if we were going forward there wasn't a way through we came back we kept the ball we stayed patient yeah we kept possession at the right times especially as the game went on i thought it was better um first 20 25 minutes we couldn't didn't pass the ball as well as we can but yeah we certainly showed you know a good understanding of what we're wanting to do and how we can develop you know a bit like i said been also critical and wanting more we could have passed pass the ball quicker at the, in the first half to try and break them lines and create more opportunities. But like you say, we showed good patience, um, good movement, you know, not to rest in possession, always on the move so people have options on the ball, you know, be it short or, or in behind, keep stretching the game by playing balls down the side. Similar to Harrogate and Stephen, it's a slow start, but we got over it and we started playing our football. Yeah, like I say, you've got to stay in the game first 20 minutes, any game, you know, it's, it is a battle and it, you know, it sounds... <laughs> Doesn't sound technical, but it is basics. Head it, kick it well, and try and get a platform and a foothold in the game. They, they started well, to be fair. Bright, we didn't start as well as we would have liked, like you say. But as you know, after 10, 15 minutes, like I say, we got a foothold in the game. We played a couple of passes that calmed us down. We managed to turn them with some good, good balls into good areas from you know from full back areas and and Rod Rod especially, which is pleasing. And you know we grew from there. Like I say, we you always felt there was more to come from us after 30, 35 minutes in it, and it showed that. We've shown we can de defend the box in the last few games, which is pleasing. And then we've shown we've got some, some quality when we needed it, and that, that was the difference in the game. Psychologically scoring at such key times in the game. Yeah, we've had it against us as well. So it is, it's a massive time just before half-time. Changes, you know, how you look at it at half-time, how the players feel, how they how they feel. And it is a massive five-minute period, isn't it? You know, at the start of games and the, at the st end of a half and the start of half and the last five minutes. It, there's no coincidence there's a lot of goals scored in them, them areas because it's it's concentration. Everyone's human and it, people look at the clock and, you know, concentration can go, so it's important. You stay switched on and you can you can kind of punish for teams if they switch off. Touched on it already, but Gibbo's got that in him, hasn't he? He's got those. I mean, he, he missed one just earlier in the game, but yeah, that one, no chance for the keeper. He does. Every time he plays, he, he looks a threat. Even if he's not on it or he's on it, he always has a threat. And he, I don't know the stats exactly, but he always has two or three shots every game. Some frustrate you, like at Harry Goy, shoot from 50 yards. But then he goes and does that and that, and that, and that answers it. But yeah, he has some quality, you know, be it create an opportunity or get a shot at goal and he'll be delighted, you know, against the next team, it's bound to feel extra special for him. Doesn't matter who it's against for us as long as it leads us to win the game. Same for Amari, ex-team, second debut, yeah. he's got 15 minutes and wow. It's funny, I said it was written for him, wasn't it? You know, I said to him, it was written for him, it's funny how football, things these happen, I don't know if it subconsciously you, you got the extra half a yard or whatever but once he got down the side he showed real um, composure and conviction and quality um, to score the goal and you know as a coach a player a fan or whatever it's a great time to score it just feel that relief and that kind of it just takes that edge out again Tyrese did he take you by surprise in any way with the, a level of performance like that that gets him deservedly man of the match he's come with good reputation uh, um, but yeah I thought for his first game and as a young lad and you know only been up here this week he showed Real, you know, desire and quality, and understood what was wanted, what we wanted, you know, to try and stretch the game and use his pace and, and running behind defences. That level of performance does part of it come from the fact that new faces have come in, some new faces are expected to come in. So a player saying to you, "Hang on a minute, I've been here and I'm okay." Yeah, it's bound to help, you know, you know, competition for places. If it it makes people go up the extra five or ten percent, like I say, sometimes it's just natural. It's gone. If you feel threatened, you're going to go up that bit extra. And if you don't, you know someone will take your place. And, and you want to bring in players that are pot potentially as good or better than the ones we've got. And hopefully that, that's what we've done this week. I know you've got a policy. You're not looking at that league table, but it's a six-point gap now between that dreaded drop zone. That matters, doesn't it? Because again, psychologically, you can settle. Yeah. Well, you can't settle, but it does feel better. You can actually look at it. 
you, you know, as much as you, you can say you don't in this, but you do for even if it's just for half an hour, you, you feel naturally better. And then tomorrow, when you start looking again, and you need you need you want to win as many games as you can. But subconsciously, hopefully, subconsciously, use that word again. But players take a lot of confidence from that, and hopefully, we can start looking up the way, not take our eye off, you know, where we are, but. Hopefully we can gain confidence and push up that league table. 1,200 away fans come. You can worry before I'm thinking they're going to drown us out. They're going to make a lot of noise. We kept them. We our fans kept them quiet today. Yeah, it was really, yeah, yeah, it was a real good atmosphere today, and it did help us in that last 20, 25 minutes. I think I've said before how big an impact the crowd has on has on on a team. And yeah, and the stayed with us, well, naturally, I think we're given plenty to shout about today, but the stayed with us, got behind us last 10, 15 minutes. You know, it was a really good atmosphere and the lads fed off that and that's probably why when he got the second goal. That's one from me, Gav. These lads have looked confident for a number of weeks now, even if they've lost a game like Harrogate the other night. Confidence in that group just isn't an issue, is it? No, not at the moment. And that's what but you have to work even harder because you come on the radar of teams. You know, people will see we've had a few good results and how we play. So you become... Teams up, you probably give you more than respect than they might have done. So you have to work that even bit harder. But results naturally gives you confidence, and hopefully, the, like it's saying, the players can kick on, not rest on their laurels, take confidence from it, and, and keep pushing on. Thank you. Thank you.